I'm not sure if this is like one of the stupidest things that an MC could have did. You know, when Tory Lanez said he's the best rapper ever and he kind of wanted everybody to come after him. So I'm not sure if this is one of the stupidest things that an MC has ever did. Or, quite frankly, it's one of the most ingenious. Clout chase the world. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I eat so. Yeah. So it looks like there's another MC out there that has decided that he's gonna he's gonna pick up that microphone and say, "Yo, Tory Lanez, you really want beef? Here it is." And it's J.R. Ryder. For everybody that has not heard it yet, J.R. Ryder has this track. He's going at Tory Lanez, and once again, Tory Lanez is looking at me like he might be in this suit. Facts. Anyway, so I'm gonna make this short, and this is just me saying. I really do appreciate what's starting to happen again in hip hop. This is what we needed. We needed for MCs to decide that they're gonna it's gonna be about the sport. Now, this is what I have to say about all this. What I want to see is I want to see a pay-per-view, right? I want to see a pay-per-view where two artists are battling each other on pay-per-view. Right? But it's not just going bar for bar. I want one artist in one stadium and the other artist in a different stadium. And I want them all to have to do three songs a piece. Period. And you can have production behind you, dances, everything you want, change the light and everything you want. But I want there to be a coin flip. And then I want one artist to do his song at the stadium that they're at. And then they show after he's done, they show the other stadium. That artist does his song with the crowd rocking. Yo, you're trying to tell me that if you had Drake and Pusha T in their own stadiums, Hell, Drake could be in Toronto, wherever, and Pusha T could be wherever his biggest fan base is. You can fill the arena, that's money. Besides filming the arena, you're gonna have the, the pay per view, the pay per view buys, that's money. Yo, they can really kill with this idea, not for nothing. This, this, they can kill with this idea. Seriously, like Complex or. Or, or, or whatever these Verizon, I was about to say Verizon, I forgot the name of the other guys, but somebody needs to hire me, like I'm a real content creator, because this idea right there, that is gonna kill, and with that platform, if you got R&B artists beefing, you could do the same thing, get it? With that platform, you could have a freaking, freaking, Cardi B could battle a freaking Nicki Minaj. You know, if, if Nicki Minaj could get the arena full. But the point being is, Cardi B could battle a Nicki Minaj. Cardi B being, well, Nicki being, well, one of them would be in Brooklyn, or I guess one of them would be in the Garden, and the other one would be in freaking, uh, 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 being uh, the Barclays. That shit, oh, slap. What the, what? You're trying to tell me that people wouldn't pay to see that. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know what females are beefing that sing R&B, but that also. <laughs> but you get the you get the drift, right? That's what they need to do. They need to stop playing all these games. All right, this is dope. 
that bring it back to the essence. People dropping these battle raps on YouTube, we want it. Keep bringing it. But the next step up, the next step up is pay-per-views. And you're going to need a big name to do the first one. Or it ain't going to work. And if they really want to go there, don't even do pay-per-view. Freaking Fox can just do it. You already got the artist sell out the show. Money's made. Any um freaking uh, television network could do it, by the way. I just, Fox is the first one that came to my brain. Because they do a whole bunch of, of, of expo like, a, a, you know, experimental shit. But yes. You have one artist in one arena with all of his fans, so you know that shit gonna be lit. You have another artist in another arena with all of his fans, so you know that shit's gonna be lit. And motherfuckers vote on Twitter. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Anyway, let me know what y'all guys think about that idea. I think that should be dope. And back to J.R. Writer, the, the J.R. Writer rap was dope. Um, I think the rapidly rap rap rapper's time is actually coming to an end when it comes to battle rapping. Because what's happening is people are understanding that you need to have, see, everybody should blame everybody that's a rapidly rap rap rapper. Y'all should all blame freaking, um, Joe Budden, because when Joe Budden says, said, you know, Eminem's a rapidly rap rap guy. And he was like, he got balls. I don't care what you think about Joe Budden. You have to say, you know what? This dude is on point. He's right. <laughs> Budden do got balls. And Eminem, even though he do got balls also to a degree, he's a rapidly rap rap guy. He's all about the flash, the fanfare, the show. He's not about the depth. It's a difference. The best example I can probably give is... Uh, Kyrie Irving, super flashy, great ball player, super flashy. And then you have Kawhi Leonard. He just gets the job done. Also a great ball player. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombs, let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.